I guess the spark, like I said, like I was saying, like Muay Thai, I felt like it was one dimensional. So how I would describe it as like, I think women um, like think differently. So I think that if you, if you go to jujitsu and you have a bit more of an open mind that like, yes, someone's going to sweat on you. So like suck it up and get over it. Um, it, it's fun. Like there's so many like directions and dimensions you can go into with jujitsu. Like for example, like one concept leads you into like thousands and thousands and thousands of techniques. So then one, one aha moment is going to lead to like a whole like game being developed around it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think that if people like associate that kind of thing more then they're going to be more geared towards it. But then again, I think like, okay, well, I'm thinking like this, well, maybe I'm just a nerd and that's why like rocket science, rock scientists like jujitsu better than Muay Thai because it's the same thing for them. You know what I mean? They see like all this algebra and fractions and quantum physics when they look at jujitsu, but mm-hmm. uh, I don't know, like, I guess it depends on the way you think about it. Um, so if girls look at it more of something where it's like really going to help open your mind, then okay. You know, if they think, Oh, you know, maybe this will help me defend myself later. Okay. Then that's something you can think of too. But for myself, like that was never what I was thinking going into it. I was just like bored. Right. And I wanted something to like go. Boom. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. I think like with girls too, I, I, I see a lot of people associating girls being more technical than guys. Like, they say like, Oh, when you watch girls fight, like they're a lot more technical. I don't think that's necessarily always true, but um, I do think that they put, if, if I asked five girls to drill, that I'll say yes. If I asked five guys to drill that I'll say, no, let's roll. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'm probably one of those guys. Let's just roll. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like I think uh, especially like to make it grow in Canada, like I think there's enough people here. I think the problem is, is that like, either some people, I don't know if people are like boycotting certain tournaments or like, for example, like the Abu Dhabi pro, like there was five or six people registered in the 62. And I was like, okay, I'll throw my name on there. And, uh, but no one committed to like the payment portion. And I'm like, at the time I was like broke. So I'm like, man, I hope somebody signs up because then I'll justify spending the money, but no one signed up for it. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm not competing. And then like the only other weight category is like your teammates. Right. So it's only the people from like, let's say there's three of us from Ringo's all signed up. I'm like, well, what am I going to do? I'm going to fight them. We roll in the gym together every day. Are we going to spend a hundred dollars to do this? No. Yeah. Why, no, why right? spend money on a registration and what to get no. a medal and you guys are all on the same team. You all get the points. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. So I don't know. I think like, I think there's some people who are like, down to fight internationally but are like yeah no fuck that i'm not gonna fight locally like maybe it's like an ego thing like you said like maybe it's like risking um losing to somebody locally i don't know like 